Hi guys, it's Sam Hybertune here to talk about our new tuning box, which we are releasing very soon. Uh, an exact release date will be will be out soon, but it's going to be some point in February or March this year. So this is it. This is our own um, solution. Um, it's not a it's not a unit made somewhere else or anything like that, or made by someone else. Um, this is made by us for us. You know, produced in house here at our HQ. Um, in I in Suffolk, um, all of the software code within it, it's all our own proprietary um, product. So fundamentally, yeah, that, that, is, that is ours and I want to talk about that today. Um, what I want to go through is um, some frequently asked questions that we often get with uh, predominantly tuning boxes because that's what we're talking about today. But also that covers tuning as well, um, some of these kind of crossover to that. Uh, so. What is the difference between, uh, I've got a bit of paper here, because uh, I can't remember my questions. Um, so what is the difference between a tuning box um, and a tune, an ECU remap? So uh, an ECU remap is actually changing the calibration data within the ECU. You're reading the, the binary file, hexadecimal file from the ECU, modifying what you need to get the results you want and then writing it back in. Now with a tuning box, you're not touching the ECU. You're not changing any of the code within the ECU or any of the modules for that matter. You're purely just intercepting some performance critical sensors from the engine and then feeding back data to the ECU. So that's the main difference. Um, however, with what we've been able to develop here um, on the B48, B58 and S58 platform, we've actually been able to get results which are very comparable to what we'd see um, on a stage one or, or stage two ECU remap. And the good thing about that is, um, as some of you might know from, um, from June 2020 onwards, BMW added a, a, an extra layer of security on their ECUs. To have your car tuned, you know, there's only one real option if you wanna actually tune the ECU and that involves sending your ECU to Finland. Um, and it's very expensive. The whole process is hassle and expense. So what we've come up with here is a solution. People that kind of look in to maybe get a bit more power from their car, be it stage one or stage two, something in between, you know, we can take care of them with this tuning box. And all our results are dyno verified, um, you know, we do a lot of development on dyno, a lot of development on road, and uh, quite a few circuit miles to, to come up with um, this product. Why a tuning box over uh, an ECU remap? What are the pros, what are the cons? Um, so the, the big pro with a, a tuning box is obviously for these customers looking to you know, you know, get more power from their cars from 2020 onwards, you, know, you can actually do it. We can send it out to you. It's a very simple process of plugging in the you know, tuning box, installing it. Take the uh, G82 M M4, for example, so S58 engine, upwards of 100 horsepower increase um, just by plugging the tuning box in. Um, so yeah, fundamentally, that's a big pro. Um, it's going to save you a bit of money if you want to get that level of performance from, from that kind of car. Um, cons are, you know, fundamentally an ECU remap, like if you want to try and go, you know, much higher, so you, you think in hybrid turbos, you know, port injection, whatever, it's not really the product for you. That needs an ECU calibration. Um, as soon as you get past a certain point with this, it's, it's not applicable for anyone. Stage one, stage two, yes, that's, that will work absolutely fine. Um, the other thing is you can remove it and the car's totally stock. You know, it's, it's there and then you can take it off, you can put it on a different car if you choose to buy another car. If we support that engine, we can change the loom, change the software in it and you can use it again. Whereas with an ECU remap, that's obviously not the case. Um, Okay, so part of the reason why we developed this tuning box was obviously for customers with you know, late model BMWs and Minis where the ECU is very, very hard to tune. Um, and also we, we've had quite a few cars on our dyno before 
with tuning boxes fitted has not been great. They've not made anywhere near the power they quoted, so they kind of that pushed us to kind of develop a, a better product for the end user, and generally just something that can you know be used with these with these late model uh, BMWs and Minis. Is a tuning box safe? Fundamentally, there's no difference whether you have an EC remap or a tuning box. They both do the same thing, um, so it's, there's no real difference. Um, the the benefit from a tuning box from a, from a safety point of view is it's, it's better than a bad tune. <laughs> um, because we're not actually touching the ECU in any manner, um, you know, it's, it's actually in some degree safer than, um, than, certainly safer than some tunes we've seen. Um, but you know, that versus one of our ECU calibrations, no, no real difference. Um, Okay, ne the next one I'll try and get through kind of quickly is, we get asked this quite a lot. So why, if we can easily get 100 horsepower, say more than, than, than what the car comes out of the factory, why does the car not come with that power from, from, from factory? So for example, uh, G82 M4, we did a lot of development work on uh, for this tuning box. That was actually a competition that we, we did as 510 horsepower, so it's already up from the standard car, and we got 605 horsepower from it, you know, relatively easily. Why does the car not come with 600 horsepower stock? The reason for that is BMW and Mini, um, they build a, a large amount of engineering, over-engineering fundamentally, from a mechanical standpoint and an electrical, you know, calibration point. So they're assuming that in worst case scenario, you know, where the car's being run on 95 octane, or even worse, um, in a very hot environment, just generally really bad conditions, you know, the air, the air filter's totally clogged up, the oil has never been changed, et cetera, et cetera, and the, the engine needs to stay alive still. That's what they're calibrating for. So fundamentally, we can get that power increase because we are, you know, we're accepting the fact that the car, you know, you need to run the car on good fuel. So Shelby power, uh, Tesco momentum, 99 octane fuel. And look after the car, you know, fundamentally, if you service the car well and, and uh, yeah, just keep it well looked after, then these power gains are, are not a risk with the, with the level of, you know, how good these engines are these days. Uh, will a tuning box invalidate my warranty? Um, it's easily removable. That's, that's one of the great things with this is, you know, in, in 20 minutes, for example, you could have that removed from the car. You take the car to a dealer, there's no trace. However, we do offer, um, we are gonna offer our own warranty on these tuning boxes. So either way you're covered. Um, so, you know, the, the honest answer to that is yeah, fundamentally yes, you know. If you have an issue with your powertrain and you take your car into BMW, you've got tuning box fitted, they're not gonna be happy with that. But you can disconnect it easily. And also we offer our own warranty. So we're kind of covered on, on both bases there. Um, this is a, a question I saw come up on a YouTube video I watched recently. And um, this, this tuner kind of raised the point with tuning boxes saying that then they're not safe because they have no control over the fueling within the engine. Fundamentally, that's not true. The reason for that is, you know, an ECU of this age and, and since kind of, you know, early 2000s onwards, um, the ECUs will run a closed loop Lambda strategy. What that means is the, the, the ECU is looking at live data from the oxygen sensor from that data, it's then adjusting the fuel mixture. So even though we are increasing the boost pressure, the ECU is adding more fuel. Um, and it actually gets better than that because the ECU has an exhaust gas temperature um, calibration in it. Um, and actually, as the exhaust temperature heats up, it actually adds enrichment. Um, it's, it's generally called component protection. Um, and a lot of the ECUs we work with but actually if the, if the exhaust gets hot, 
it actually adds more fuel. Because of how sophisticated these ECUs are, it actually takes care of it for us. Does the tuning box work on all cars? No. No, fundamentally, you know, we've based our development currently on the B40A, B50A and S58 platform. However, we did do quite a lot of development work on an F30 330e BMW, which uses the B48 engine. That actually didn't work from a tuning box point of view because of how it managed its torque. Um, the combination of the engine with the electric motor meant that with throttle closures and torque management and stuff like that, we just didn't yield the results that we kind of, you know, ascertain as being acceptable for, for a saleable product. So no, and fundamentally, you're never gonna see us advertising and selling a product without guaranteed backed dyno results, road testing and circuit testing. So we know that what we're doing works absolutely with the B48 platform, um, the B58 and the S58 platform. Okay, so release date and price. So this product is gonna be available, as I said, um, it's gonna be February, March time this year. Um, the, the price is gonna be 495, including VAT, um, but for the first 20 orders of these we get, we're gonna do a special offer of uh, 395 pounds, including that, so 100 pounds off. Um, and these first 20 units will be available for the, um, the B48TU engine which is fundamentally the 306 horsepower version of that engine. Get in touch if you're not sure if you've got that engine. Um, and the S58. So that's everything G-Series, M2, M3, M4, X3, etc. Again, get in contact if you're not sure um, whether your car's got an S58 engine in it or not. Um, but yeah, that's, that's our tuning box. Um, yeah, any questions guys, obviously fire us an email or, or get in contact, give us a call. Um, but yeah, we're really excited to release this and uh, get a really good product out there for, um, for BMW owners.